If it wasn't for pediatric rehab, I really don't believe that Connor would be where he is right now. I can't even tell you how much the therapists, all of them, everyone here, care about the kids and they, they love the kids and it's like a big family. Connor's personality is uh, very compatible with therapy. He's fun-loving and motivated and he's always looking to play a joke on somebody and he's motivated to come every week. Uh, but Connor's always come with uh, a lot of tenacity. He doesn't like to quit. Sometimes he'll work until he's literally sweating. So the first time that I noticed that something was wrong with Connor was um, about nine months old. And then through a long series of tests, MRIs, genetic testing, they found out that he um, has cerebellar hypoplasia. And so that's his balance, his coordination. When we found out Connor's diagnosis and um, the future that they had told us um, was he wasn't probably going to be able to walk, probably not be able to talk. Um, that we would probably need to learn sign language to communicate with him. So he's pretty much been doing physical, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and since he's been over, you know, probably 15 months, he started 18 months. Connor is 14 now, so he's been with um, pediatric rehab for many, many years. So I started seeing Connor when he was about five years old, and at that time he was, uh, he wasn't even sitting independently, he needed help to sit. After a while, he gained the ability to walk uh, with a walker fairly well, since his, he has his strength intact and he has good, fairly good trunk control. He just lacks the ability to coordinate all of his muscles together. And so we worked, I think he was probably seven years old before he finally learned to walk. And I remember that day. And when his mom came back that day, we said, you've got to see this. He, 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 he walked today and she said, are you kidding me? He said, no, he walked. And so he took off and he fell a couple of times where we had to catch him. He didn't walk very far. But on the last try, he walked 14 steps. And his mom just burst into tears. And it was, it was a really touching moment. It's been the best thing for him and for my family. Um, they treat the kids with respect. They love the kids. They're warm. They're friendly. And Connor loves to come here. He doesn't think that he's it's for him to develop in long term. He just thinks it's fun. With, with Sean, we just like play stuff, light singles, basketball, George of the Jungle. The basketball exercise is one of the uh, most challenging things that we've done. He has to follow the ball with his eyes. And when he first started walking, he would have to look right where he was going. And he couldn't tip his body in any direction or he would fall. If you notice today on the basketball activity, he rarely fell. And he had fairly good control with his arm. That's been a lot of work. He could go and throw and play with his friends without too much difficulty, with both feet flat on the ground. Connor goes to North Cash. Um, he is in ninth grade there. He's very active equipment that has been donated to pediatric rehab, we have benefited from that tremendously because Connor has been able to have a walker at all times. Um, if we didn't have these donations from businesses, um, companies, private donors, it wouldn't be possible.